Hey Luke here with catsandcarp.com and I'm in New K, England. And today, I'm going shark fishing. There's our boat, the Atlantis. It's about to take us out into the Atlantic Ocean to go fishing for sharks. We're here in the southwest part of England and it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this coastline. How are you? I am doing well. I am doing just popping it up and down six seven feet on its own. Oh there we go. Oh yeah beautiful. What a pretty fish. What is that a 10 aught circle hook? Uh 16. 16 aught. A few aughts. A few aughts uh, more than I thought. So the first shark rod's going out, and he's got a Mountain Dew one liter bottle as a, a bobber, which works really well. You can see that thing from a country mile. Ground mackerel, we run it through a garden chipper. Um, it's mixed with bran, pilchard oil. So now, do you have any kids? I have two kids. One girl. So when, she's old, she is. so when she's so when she's a teenager, this is where her boyfriends are gonna go, right? This she makes it for me. <laughs> she sits there and puts uh, puts it through the chipper, and uh, she likes to add bits of glitter and stuff into it. Well. <laughs> uh, big bag of chum right there, like nice little bits of flesh coming off there. <laughs> is that a sea robin or something? Good. Yeah. Spiky on the back. I gurned. I throw him back, I assume. Yeah, New PB, I'm gurned. Surprised that little guy bent the rod so much. I know. Oh, holy mackerel. I caught three at once. You like to eat mackerel? Do I, eat, I like to eat them, don't you? Yeah. I, I like them raw. Yeah, you like them raw? Yeah. Hey, yeah, a little mackerel sushi. Kind of an oily fish, right? Yeah, oily. Yeah. We have four shark rods going. I can see four Mountain Dew bottles. I'm having a ball catching this bait. There we go. Oh, holy mackerel. Beautiful fish. Oh, oh. Oh. Four at once, that's how you do it. Oh, there's something still on there. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I'm dropping this lead down and it just went crazy. Oh, that, was, a, that was something that more was than that. Something else was on there and it just ripped it straight off. He popped his air yeah, ladder out. Popped, yeah. That's all right. We'll, we'll find a good home for him. Oh, that feels strong. 
Yeah, this just got tagged on the way down again. Didn't even make it to the bottom. guy man he was stripping drag Show you Matt's rig here. We got uh, was that some steel cable there? Yeah, it's a 49 strand wire. Uh, it's about 175 pound. It's about a 200 pound mono as a rudder leader. Sharks often sort of uh, roll up on the rig. Yeah, that rough sandpaper yeah, rough skin. Sand. Circle hook. It's what we call a muppet. It just adds a little bit of added attraction to the bait. And then we swap this out for a fresh bait. Well, 12 ounce lead, which is a lot heavier than what we normally. Check us out. Got a Mountain Dew bottle with a glow stick inside for night fishing. And uh, just got a little loop in there glued. And then it's on a runner. Man, look how high vis that is, though. They stand up really tall out of the water. You can see those forever. That works great. I think he's bigger. I think he's bigger. <laughs> Look at that little thing. Yeah. Uh oh, I think we I think we got something going on here. sorts of teeth marks in him. Well, if you want some mackerel, I know a guy. You know a guy I know a guy. guy Alright, Matt's trying a, a smaller bait here, which is the ultimate rule of thumb. If you're ever getting hits that aren't hooking up, downsize. I mean, did somebody say they wanted small bait? Alright, he's getting down to the wire. Some bonus chum here. Well, we caught the crap out of the mackerel and we got a bunch of pullock, but the sharks were just a bit too finicky today. But we're gonna call it, we're gonna get back to the harbor and we're gonna clean up those pollock and I'm gonna make some fish and chips. Well guys, we made it back to Nuki and this time it was a lot more comfortable. <laughs> not having a belly full of sausage health. If you want to check out Matt's charter service here in Nuki, England, check out nukifishingtrips.co.uk. I'll put a link in the description. Also, I plan on going out with him Thursday and seeing if we can either double down on sharks or go for some conger eels. We're gonna see what the weather does uh, and hopefully, hopefully the weather won't get any worse. I mean, even though we didn't catch a shark, I had a ball. What's up? Oh, oh, there we go. Cool, I'm sitting here filleting the fish and uh, a sunfish came and went right underneath the boat. I'll give you a ring to uh, tomorrow then. 
All right, see you then. Check it out, this place is gorgeous, man. Look at the seals down there. So the gal's crabbing. This is pretty cool. Oh man, this place is gorgeous. I wish Becca and the kids were here. So check it out. This is why they dropped me off at that other location. You can see the harbor's uh, high and dry now. <laughs> That's where his boat was parked. Alright guys, we're back at the house. I got a bag full of fresh pollock. We're gonna make some fish and chips. If you want to know the recipe with all the details, I'll put it in the video description. Also, check out my 23 best campfire recipes and that has how to make fish and chips campfire style and lots of other different stuff. Oh my, thank you. There you go. Mm, thank you. Do you want a fork too with that? Yes, please. How's the fish? It's good. Well, tomorrow morning I'm going out again with Matt from New Key Fishing and we're going to be hitting conger eel, sea brim, sharks, whole bunch of stuff. So I think this time we're going to we're going to get a little bit uh, do a little bit better. Mm. <laughs> Oh, Woo -hoo. that is hot. Well, good morning, everybody. And once again, I'm headed to Nuki Harbor. And this time I'm pronouncing it a little bit better. I'm gonna go meet Matt. and We're gonna go have another crack at some reef fish and some shark. See what happens. This time we're gonna be reef fishing, anchoring up and targeting conger eel, sea brim, sharks, and lots of other species. We're gonna get a real smorgasbord of the different saltwater species here off the southwest coast. But, ah, oh, I'm excited. I had so much fun last time. Even though the shark fishing didn't go as I wanted, I really had a ball. Good morning. How are we doing? I'm doing great. Good, good, good. Oh, looks wonderful. This is uh, Lawrence. Hi, Lawrence. Hi, uh... All right, guys, we stopped just a little ways outside of the harbor, and already you can tell it's a lot calmer out here. And we're gonna go and hit some mackerel real quick, try to get some fresh bait, and then uh, go after the conger eels. <laughs> you know, three at a time. Oh, oh man. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, look at that. So doing it one at a time is for suckers, man. This is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Alright, right, we are flush with Pollock. As tasty as you guys are. Oh, that's a nice size one. There we go. When you're on them, you're really on them. Less than five minutes, build up half a bucket full of mackerel. There we go, got the anchor dropping. All right, we just anchored up near a wreck and we're gonna be targeting conger eel, which are these massive eel that live in the ocean around England. Uh, they, here they average about 20 pounds, they get up to about 40 pounds here. British record is like 130 something pounds. So they're a massive hard fighting eel. And I've wanted to catch a conger eel for a long time. All right, this is the rig we're using for the conger eel. Big old J-hook with the squid above it. And then we got 50 pounds of leader. Looks like about three feet of it. And then we got a big old lead on a lead clip. And it slides up all the way to another swivel. So it's kind of like a bolt rig. Half a fresh mackerel with a point coming out the forehead. That looks beautiful. Feel them and like they'll tug, tug, tug. Your fiddle rod tip, bang, 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 bang. They're almost a bit like a dog with a bone. And then once you hook them up, keep it steady, pressure. 
pressure on them to uh, keep them off out of the rep. If you like, sometimes they'll spit it. Yeah. Just, if they spit it, just leak a Just put it back. Like yeah. And just keep doing it until they, until they take it. I got some chum going here. So the chum goes inside this little box here. And you tie a rope to the top, drop it down, boom. Empties out all your chum, then you pull it back up. It's pretty slick. Felt a little peck on it, now I can't feel the bottom and it's not bouncing on the bottom anymore. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah look at that. Oh, <laughs> there's definitely something wiggly on the end of this. Maybe. That's yeah. quite a pull, pull on that thing. Yeah. That thing ain't screwing around. Oh my goodness, look at that thing. Oh yeah, spinning. Spinning not unlike his freshwater friends. Look at that, that is so cool. Yeah, you don't, don't want to put your fingers in there? No. <laughs> no, you don't want to put your fingers in there. So you just put your fingers in just, just barely up the, up the gills, is that how you hold them? Yeah. Well there we go, my very first conger eel. What, about 15 pounds, 18 pounds? Yeah, 15, yeah. Oh, 25. Let's go to 30. 30. Oh. There we go. Oh. Oh. There we go. There he goes, and he's off. Uh, that was uh, that was quite a bit more fight than I was expecting. I like that. That was fun. Good. Those conger eels fight a lot like flathead catfish. You know, they just pull straight down, man. I gotta tell you, that 15 pound conger eel was on par with like a 40 pound flathead, though. It was, that was something else. Does it fit? <laughs> oh, but you know what that means, Matt? What's that? We didn't get skunked on sharks. Does this guy have any spines on him? No, just rough skin. Oh, yeah, he's got some pointy teeth. Look at that. Now, is this called a hus? Yeah, bull hus. Yeah. Bull hus. Oh, is this a small one? The uh, normal size? Yeah, they get bigger. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that was cool. Oh. oh, that's a bit better. Oh, has he dropped it? Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That's popped clean through. Well, they say that's a 150 pound mono? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Put a big up to the pouting. A, a, a pouting? Oh, pouting, yeah. That's the skipper's favorite tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that looks like something that hides in the rocks a little yeah, bit that's, more. That's probably primarily what they're feeding on down there. Yeah. Stick that on the next one down. You know, that's the fun thing about saltwater fishing. You never know what you're gonna catch, you know? Anything's possible. Lawrence is the scad king today, man. He's just reeling them in hand over fist. Wow. Oh, here we go, here we go. There we go. Oh, he wants a piece of me. There we go. That is a hus, hus, bull hus. Bull, bull, bull hus. No. Yep. Like I can't feel the bottom anymore. Like it doesn't stop bouncing. He like, likes the bait. Look at that. Well, there we go. Not as big as the other one, but look at that. That is, I think it's probably what, close to four feet long. Oh, your class BB ears. They are angry little sharks, aren't they? Yeah. Angry, angry looking shark. 
<laughs> oh, look at this. He, he, he wants to like bite my face. I don't think I've ever had a fish want a piece of me as badly as this guy. All right, we're gonna put him back. Holy mackerel, that fish is just, just, you can just see him straining with everything he's got to turn around and get your bite you somewhere. If that fish could talk, I would have had to censor out everything he said. He was angry. Fish bit. Oh my. Oh, 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 yeah, there we go. There we go, I snagged a mackerel. That was a non-consensual uh, catching right there. Oh, -ho! a little darker color. Yeah. Yeah, three at a time. All right, well, we pulled out a few fish out of this spot, but it's kind of cooling down. So we're gonna go try one more spot, see what happens. We're gonna drop down a little bit of everything. We're gonna put the big rods for eels and sharks. We're gonna put the bream rods. We're gonna we're gonna see what we get. He's got this little chum chum device there for bream. A little bit of squid in there. We're gonna drop that down. And see if that doesn't turn the bream on. A little shine. Little to it. strips of squid. We we'll just fish this tight to the bottom. Fish, that's a green. Yeah, that's a green. Look at that. Look at that. That is cool. It's a black bream. Look at that. No, I would, but. Oh, there you go, buddy. All right, that's the way go. We're off to a roaring start. Let's go get another one. You know me, I do like bream. Scott. These things really are bulky. That is hard earned mackerel right there. Well, it started to rain and it's pretty close to the end of the day, anyways. So I think it's time we're reeling it up and gonna call it. But man, this has been fun. <laughs> It was a great time. We caught seven different species of fish, caught a massive conger eel, which has been on my bucket list for a long time, and ate some amazing fish and chips. So we had an absolute ball. If you guys are ever in the southwest of the UK, check out newkeyfishingtrips.co.uk, and I'll put a link in the description with more information. And I'll put a link to my playlist of all my different catch and cook videos. If you want to see more videos from this trip, check out my other channel, the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description to our entire three week UK uh, travel and adventure fishing trip video. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. We hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to click subscribe and put out new videos every Saturday morning. Thanks for watching. Ooh.